Sports Center at the Canadian Grand Prix brought to you by Mercedes AMG. The last time Lewis Hamilton won here was in 2019, and that came after Sebastian Vettel took a penalty for going off track and rejoining in an unsafe manner. That five seconds was the difference as Hamilton was handed the victory. And I am down here at turn four where Sebastian Vettel went off, took that five second time penalty, handing the win to Lewis Hamilton. It's been a very difficult few seasons for Mercedes. If we go all the way back to 2022, when we had this new regulation change that came in, the team lost their way in terms of their aero philosophy. But then once we've come into 2024, the car is totally different from the past two seasons, and they're trending more towards what Ferrari is doing, what McLaren is doing, and what Red Bull Racing is doing as well. But for Lewis Hamilton, it's been a bit of a struggle getting to grips with this car at different racetracks. But for his teammate, George Russell, he's done quite well with ill handling equipment. And I think a lot of that dates back to his time at Williams Racing, really trying to tackle difficult handling race cars. And I think that's what's given him a leg up in terms of the battle between the two teammates. So as we transition from this Lewis Hamilton era at Mercedes into the George Russell era at Mercedes, this weekend at the Canadian Grand Prix, however, could be an interesting one. This track for Lewis Hamilton, he's been great at it. Seven Canadian Grand Prix victories matching that of Michael Schumacher. And if we look further down the list, you'll see Max Verstappen. He's won the last two races here. If he wins again this weekend, he'll be tied for third on the all-time list. Whoever wins this weekend, chances are they're gonna be taking advantage of Montreal's three DRS zones. I'm standing right here in the first DRS activation zone, which is the focus of this edition of Power Move, sponsored by Fidelity Investments. Formula One is a game of opportunities, and no area of racetrack favors the opportunistic more than the DRS zone. And now going through the gears with DRS active up to 200 miles an hour, Fernando Alonso is waved goodbye by Max Verstappen. Circuit Gilles Villeneuve's first DRS activation zone is right at the exit of turn seven, setting up a high speed run all the way down to Montreal's slowest corner, the hairpin. Drivers need to be within a second of the car they're chasing when hitting the detection zone. This means you need to perfectly execute the chicane at turns three and four to build that momentum. Once DRS is on, the biggest danger that lies at turns eight and nine, an area of Montreal with some real bites. The apex of turn nine is critical. The driver is hustling the car too much through here, you risk catching the big sausage curbs and getting spit into the wall. A fate George Russell experienced a year ago. George Russell has hit the barrier that's front wing further back down the racetrack and Russell has made contact with the wall on the exit of nine. While the risks can be high, so are the rewards. The hairpin is one of the best overtaking areas in Montreal. It's the hairpin. Is he just going to launch one? Look at this from miles back to take the place from his teammate. The strategy, that's clear. Execute through that first DRS zone and it can make your race. One miscue and your weekend is spoiled. We're now at the end of the first DRS zone. And interesting to note, you just don't really appreciate just how tight and narrow this section of racetrack is. For instance, if you make a mistake, you come all the way over to here and you get too much of this orange sausage curb here, it's gonna destroy your entire lap. And also to note, they've now added grass on the outside of turn eight here towards turn nine. And again, there is call for rain this whole weekend so that's going to make things even more interesting in this section of track probably one of the most interesting parts of the track to watch out for this weekend